Migration Center in South Africa. There are two key verses, Surah 355 and Surah 5120, which talk about Jesus. For example, in Surah 355, the Afrikan is rendered this way, I am causing you to die. Muslims in South Africa have taken you to task over this translation. For you are saying that Jesus did die. In your lectures and books, in fact, The Choice, which is your own book which I have, I, I read about six years ago, and I believe it was around about chapter 10, where you say that Jesus was not nailed, but tied to the cross. My dear brother, my, look, look, nah, nah. Now you said, look, wait a minute, you lied, you lied against me. You, 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 you are, I, look. You, you lied, you lied against me. More than one lie you uttered already. I'm telling you, you lied against me more than once already. And I will not allow you to continue lying. Now imagine, imagine the man is now, he hears me lecturing in English. He listens to me in English. Right. He listens to me in English and he's talking about an Afrikaans Quran. Africans I don't know. Then he's talking about my book. Yes, my brother. No, no, no. Where is my brother with the Quran? Huh? He fled. You mean he fled? Look, nature, Allah made it. Allah set him up to answer the question right and get the Quran. Look, look. It's not planned by me. I don't know who the man was. He put up the hand. I said, yes, you. He gave the right answer. I gave him the Quran. Look at it. Look at the setup. This is how God works. He is the first man to ask question. He wants to read it in Arabic because he's an Arab. Okay, he's entitled to. Now he wants somebody to translate for him. So why do you do that? I, you got the Quran already. Quran already, I presented you with. Go back, sit down while the other guys are busy. Find that verse, find that verse, and you come out and you read the Arabic and you read the translation. Can anything be fairer than that? No. But you see, it's a kind of, I don't know what to say, this spirit that they have, that spirit deserts them. So, out they go. And see the other guy, he was talking about an Afrikaans Quran. I don't know Afrikaans. He's going to quote from there. I said, look, here is a Quran. Open it. See the same verse. Tell me. He said, in my book, The Choice, he read six years ago. He's a liar because this book has only come out now. Choice. Yeah. So, so, so. No, no. Lies upon lies. So I said, now look, here's my brother. You talk about the choice. Here's the choice. Find that chapter in verse where I said Jesus died, that he was not nailed, but he was tied. Did I say that? I'm saying these are the Christian theories. One Christian sector denomination says this. The Jehovah's Witness say that. These are your theories. These are your artists who are drawing these drawings about Jesus being nailed, Jesus being tied up with ropes. That's not mine, so I give you the choice. I said, the Jehovah's Witness says, no, he was put on a stake, you know, he was, and he was standing like this, no, not like that. And I said, look, these are the choices I'm giving you in my book. The choices I'm giving you in my book. Now you take the choice. What happened? Because it's your Christians are telling me all these variant things about what happened to Jesus. Now he said, I said, I said, no, I didn't say that. You said, I said, it's a choice. I said, here's the choice. Come on, find it and read it to the people. No, the man, amazing, amazing. Yes, my son. Well, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> um, all right. First of all, I just want to say you were referring to many of us Caucasians as Englishmen. 
Um, I've been here for 200 years, I'm Australian, so I'm not an Englishman, that's just one other point there. So I don't freak out too much over that. Uh, second one was... Uh, just, just one second, this might entertain you. You see me, I'm a brown Englishman. In other words, I speak English. English is my mother tongue, you understand? In other words, I, 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 I dream in English and I swear in English. And, no, no, the, and the psychologists, they say that the language in which you dream and the language in which you swear is your mother tongue. You Indonesian, you say Indonesian, okay. I say, in what language do you dream? In Dutch? If you're dreaming in Dutch, you know, no, the Dutch ruled you for 300 years. So maybe, you know, you got some Dutch blood in you. So I said, you speak, you, you, you dream in Dutch? He said, yes. And you swear in Dutch? He said, yeah. I said, that's your mother tongue. You are ashamed to say that, but that's your mother Me, me, I dream in English and I swear in English. So English is my mother tongue. So I'm a brown English man. So from that point of view, when I said Englishmen, English-speaking people, whether you are American, I say you are an Englishman, English-speaking person. From the language point of view, I'm describing the people, Englishmen. I guess, I guess that if you're saying that you're an Englishman, then I must be. No, I'm a brown Englishman. <laughs> right. Um, first of all, just with the... Uh, we were looking tonight at Matthew chapter 12 and the sign of Jonah and you quite rightly pointed out that, that there were some